California Highway Patrol chasing that Durango that you see right there. Heavy traffic. So this is going to be a very L.A. pursuit for sure. Uh, just coming up on La Cienega right now, that Durango using the center divider, pushing its way through this traffic this evening. At one point when the, when the freeway was open, this thing was going about 80, 90 miles an hour. Right now, though, you can see heavy traffic this evening. No emergency lane in this area. So it's being pretty difficult for this truck. We haven't seen it hit or really get too pushy with the other vehicles so that's a good sign right now though california highway patrol behind it we understand that the helicopter that's over it may be lapd we're trying to get that narrowed down but you can see as this vehicle is trying to push its way through traffic right now there's a california highway patrol again this happening right now just coming going getting out of the culver city area west la mid cities and you can see that car pushing its way through traffic other vehicles trying to get out of the way for the emergency vehicles, but this chase continues on the eastbound 10 freeway. Well, they obviously they're always worried or concerned about uh, injuries and also damage to any of the uh, civilians that are not involved in this chase right now. So that's one thing that they're definitely thinking about. The slower speeds, they might be able to do some sort of pit maneuver or bring this thing to an end forcefully uh, if they see that opportunity. Also, sometimes we've seen it in the past, the traffic just gets so jammed up, the car does the, the vehicle that they're chasing just got no place to go, just gets stuck. Uh, we've seen the drivers get out because of that, possibly run, maybe even give up. Right now, though, he's finding a little, he found his little happy spot here all the way over in the right lane. Uh, but I can tell you the traffic that we're seeing is opening up right now. If he stays on the 10 freeway, when he gets over to the 110, it's going to really be bl uh, backed up. But it does look like we are taking an off-ramp here. We'll get to that off-ramp in just a second. We're just passing La Brea. Well, that's right, and that's the concern for California Highway Patrol. That little jaunt we just saw right there, that's going to was just the La Brea off-ramp. If you guys know that area, the people that, a lot of the listeners, I'm sure, drive by there. That's one of those ones where you can kind of, it's got that double off-ramp. You have to both directions, but it's also used as an on-ramp. So he just used that to get, trying to get by a lot of that traffic. Speeding up right now, definitely got, leaving the Culver City area, definitely getting established into the Mid-Cities area. Eastbound 10 Freeway, there's a little spot right here. It is opening up. That that is for sure, but it does get really, really thick that we're talking about the traffic that is here if, if we keep moving towards the 110. Now, the vehicle, I heard them mention that it, it's actually registered to an address, I believe they said, off of Rose, and that's going to be in the, in the Venice area. So going away from uh, the area where the vehicle is registered to, uh, the original one, I'm hoping that our assignment desk can kind of clue us in on that. I know Mark's here tonight. Uh, maybe he's going to be able to, uh, to do something there and of course we got a bunch of other talented people at our desk as well uh, right now though speeds just a little faster than traffic they're talking about 60 right now and uh, still moving eastbound on the 10 freeway california highway patrol in pursuit suv haven't seen it make contact or push its way through uh, it, with any of the other vehicles this evening that's good that but still this is a pursuit this person desperate to get away from all, for law enforcement Heavy, heavy traffic coming up. Exiting.
Sorry. Tagging? Uh, uh, tagging in Venice, that's going to be a first for sure. We're on Adams right now. We're working our way westbound on Adams. Uh, he got off at Arlington, so we were, made, we, were getting ve we were getting very close to the 110 freeway. On Adams right now, heading back towards the Venice area. Uh, that would kind of jive with what we were hearing earlier on. They said they ran the plate and the vehicle was registered to a uh, a, an address off of Rose in the Venice area. So that's probably the area where he lives in right now, or she, we don't really know. Tagging is uh, it is is an is an everybody type of offense, I would guess. A unusual, that's for sure. Uh, California Highway Patrol is the one that's chasing them. They were on the freeways earlier on. Now that they're on the surface streets, they may hand this over to the LAPD, but I really doubt it, uh, as they've been the ones in pursuit of this vehicle for the, for basically the entire time. You can see that uh, the California Highway Patrol moving up right there. That would have been a spot where if if it was possible, they could have done the pit. That was one of the reasons why I went a little bit wider there. Uh, but if these speeds keep up like this, they're not going to be able to do something like that. Uh, Adams right now, much better take than the one uh, than the 10 freeway. You can see how wide open it is. Speeds, though, they are picking up again. That's not a good sign. We never want to see these things get too, uh, too, too crazy, too fast. But uh, right now, this person's still eluding the officers. We're making our way back out of the Mid-Cities area. We're going to be back in the Culver City area just in a few moments. Uh, pursuit for a tagging suspect, that's definitely got to be a first. Using that center lane right there, looks like we possibly were running a red light. That's the first time I've seen him do that. So maybe getting a little bit more tense, maybe this person getting a little bit more desperate to get away, and that could create some more problems. Uh, for the uh, law enforcement, and of course, of course, we we want it, we're concerned about any of the people that may be uh, just in the way if this thing comes to an end. Just pass Labre again. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. uh, Nope, no. Yeah. Yeah, hard. He he was hard on the brakes right there, just past La Brea. Very hard on the brakes. He got, got jammed up. But you saw how aggressive that the California Highway Patrol is right behind it. This guy wants this thing to come to an end. And I'm sure he is, uh, you know, pit certified, meaning that he is able to do that maneuver that will spin out that truck if he has the chance and it is safe to do it. He, he basically, right after he locked up the brakes, he saw that opportunity, made that move. And I'm talking about the law enforcement. Got up right there, but that uh, Durango moved off quick enough. Wasn't contact. I don't think he got he, the vehicles touched each other at all, but uh, definitely hard on the brakes right there as there were some tense moments or seconds there was uh, on Adams here. We were in the uh, Mid-Cities area, definitely going to be getting into the uh, Culver City area right now. La Cienega, the next major, if we haven't passed it yet, and that's going to get a little windy right there, so we're going to keep an eye on it, see where it goes. Uh, but right now, still on Adams, and you can see another large intersection, and luckily, a green light. We're making that hard turn, and uh, if we're not on Washington, I'm, we will be on Washington here in a second. Yeah, I, I would I would agree 100% with that. And 
it, right now, it, j tagging was what we were hearing, and that's, you know, f I, I understand that uh, possibly there might be something other than tagging involved. There we go. Here we go. Boop, there's a first touch. And look at this guy. He's really getting on the gas right there, trying to get away from the from the officers, really pushing that uh, truck. We're on Venice Boulevard right now. Uh, we were eastbound, then a little bit west. Now we're going north. I've got to grab the street here in just a second. But it's a, a La Cienega. That's what I heard them say right there. And it looks like if, if he's got traffic, that one officer is going to try to make that move. Here he goes again, just pushing it just a little bit. I got that uh, officer from the uh, California Highway Patrol got jammed up there. Another spot here in traffic. You can see that the uh, that truck, maybe not the all the officers that do those pit maneuvers, have to be certified. This guy's starting to get a little bit more aggressive now, really starting to go against traffic. Good stuff. Here we go, coming to a stop. Uh, and, and again, just got to wonder why he picked this spot right here. Maybe he just kind of came to his senses. Tagging. Uh, so the original want some scary moments there. Now this person getting out of the vehicle. This is the first time we're going to see this guy. And uh, we'll take a look, and it's coming to an end. It seems to be peaceful. He seems to be a little aggressive still, angry about what's going on. But one tagger in custody after a pursuit that took us through the uh, mid-cities and West L.A. areas. Right now he's basically just uh, conforming to the officer's demands getting down on the ground. We haven't seen the cuffs go on yet, but I'm sure that'll happen here in just a moment. Well, you know, you, you, you always kind of wonder, well, you know, who these people are that are being chased. This time we knew who this person was, a tagger. Usually I personally would almost put that as more of an artistic type of person. Wouldn't pe peg him for somebody that would run from officers. Thank goodness nobody else was hurt in this. And like you said, amazing driving from the California Highway Patrol uh, this evening. But in the end, this guy just comes to a stop. Perhaps he came to his senses after he realized how dangerous this was. Maybe when they started bumping the rear end of his car and he was losing control. Control. Right now, though, one in custody. It seems that he's the only person in that car. This coming to an end, like you said, in the Pico-Robertson area. C crazy pursuit, and we saw a lot of traffic. Thank goodness, no civilians injured. I should have said it. And for my internet buddies, if you're still out there, that was uh, it was quick. It was quick, a little tight there for a while. You know, I was kind of shocked about the whole. Uh, <laughs> I'm reading some of the comments on, on Twitter right now. Uh, I was kind of shocked uh, uh, when when they say tagger. You know, there's so many different types of tagging. Some of the tagging that we see is. I, I will I'll say it I, I would even think it's artistic not autistic artistic and it's uh, but uh, sometimes you know it's just scribble scrabble I don't know what type of tagger this guy is but uh, it was unusual that he would run uh, from officers turning this into a pursuit for something that I don't you know again I'm not sure how many offenses he has maybe he's got other warrants whatever but if, if it was just straight out tagging it was unusual that he would run uh, that Durango, he never he never made contact with any other vehicles. That was uh, great in itself. In the end there, though, when they, they did that one pit maneuver, you saw that guy just really punch the, you know, just hammer the gas. Uh, those rear, that one rear tire, that dog leg just spinning out as he was trying to get away. Uh, California Highway Patrol, these guys, they train for pits. They actually get it. You know, I'm not sure if it's an actual certificate like, 
you know, you get when you uh, graduate or do something cool at work, but they have to be pit certified. Uh, so maybe the one vehicle that was pit certified got jammed up and they had to allow him to get back over there. But in the end, this guy just pulled over. Uh, where is it? It's on Cadillac. Uh, we are, at, as I understand it, Cadillac just by La Cienega uh, is where this thing finally came to an end. Uh, peaceful, as peaceful as it could be. Uh, the tagger seemingly uh, a little upset about uh, being taken into custody, but thank goodness uh, he's going into a officer's vehicle and not an ambulance, and uh, or, or worse, huh? But uh, right now this thing finally coming to an end out here in the Pico Robertson area, Cadillac and La Cienega. Tagger in custody. Nine hotel TOS. I'm sorry, nine hotel Simon desk on one. Hey there. Uh, yeah. Is that a is that a wrestler? Yeah, be all. I'm, I'm. Oh, oh, it's an officer in there. I was like, what is going on? They, they, there's an officer. Yeah, I guess we can go back to base. That's something new I've seen too. Like California Highway Patrol, they'll take the suspect's vehicle afterwards and then take it someplace. They actually drive it themselves. Uh oh. Everybody, everybody? Just follow him. Just follow him right now. Until I figure out what it is. I got my scanner. No, I don't care about them. <laughs> no, back to base. Back to base. And if we're still on the web. I know you guys like the uh, scenic shots that's downtown. If we're not on the web, this is just for me and anybody that might be watching. That's downtown. I'm just talking to the web peeps if they're still there. And if they're not, I don't know. I'm just talking to myself again. All right, thank you, Timmy. Timmy's listening. That's uh, Hollywood. That's going to be West Hollywood at Sunset Strip. Those are the Hollywood Hills. That is Century City. The city of the century. I don't know why they call it that. That'd be kind of cool to find out. Why do you guys tag me in other people's stuff? Don't tag me in other people's stuff. I mean, I'm, I'm just like, well, I like that. Bagged and bagged. Yeah. It's something entirely different. Yeah. So I don't. I don't know what they get for. Uh, I should. We should find that out. What do you get for it being? You know, running from officers. Oh, we're still alive. This is awesome. I. I dig this. Here we go. Uh, they take you, they process you, at, I think they just process you like everybody else does, and you wind up in county. They got their own holding. That's K-Joy right there, and in the background is going to be beautiful Burbank, 
I just think it's cool that we're still up. Um, I, I, I dig this. That's uh, K-Joy. When you say it's K-Joy, it's, it's the old Hollywood antenna. That's what they used to call it, Hollywood. That's the antenna on top of the Hollywood Hills. And it still is actually an antenna that is a repeater.